Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 8th grade concept of linear proportional relationships, specifically how we could represent them with equations, tables and graphs, and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. So we have a sample problem here from a real world situation. A natural spring fills a lake at a constant rate. That's going to be very important. So we've got 100 gallons every 4 days. So we need to represent the relationship between the number of days x, all right, so I'm going to put x right there, and that gallons of water from the natural spring y. All right, so let's go ahead and label our variables there. How do we represent this as an equation? Well, it's going to end up right here as y equals kx, right? So x is our independent variable, k is our constant of proportionality, and y is our dependent variable. But remember in seventh grade we spent a lot of time figuring out what that constant of proportionality is, right? If we divide both sides by x, what we get here is k equals y over x. So let's figure out what that rate is. Some of you might be able to eyeball it already, but we know that our k is going to be our y, so what they give us is 100 gallons, and it is at a constant rate, over our x of 4 days. So 100 divided by 4 is going to be 25. So if we wanted to represent this simple relationship in this form, we would make our k equal 25. Now we're going to put it back in this original form. So we would say y equals, instead of k, we'll say 25 x. So every 4 days you get 100 gallons. Really that's 25 gallons a day because 25 times 4 makes 100. So that's how we could represent that as an equation. If we wanted to make this a table, right, we could just make some pretty simple x, y values. And so let's just, let's just go ahead and do 1, 2, 3, 4. They already give us the 4. Let's fill that up with 5. They might want you to go into larger values like 10 days, 20 days, but really it's just at times 25. So now that we know our constant of proportionality is 25, it's pretty easy. We're just skip counting by 25s. We can go up to 125. We can go as much as we want to because really it's just a times 25. Pretty simple. Now, sometimes the graphs look a little bit strange, right? So we don't have a y-intercept. So we're going to start at the origin. Everything's going to be positive. So I'm just going to draw a, a graph here, and it's going to be in the first quadrant, right, so there's my zero, and I'm going to have my y-axis up here. Remember, our y-axis is our number of gallons, and our x-axis, label that over here, it's going to be our number of days. The one thing that we might notice is that we're not going to use the same scale for the x and the y-axis. So my days are fine, right, if I wanted to just go ahead and draw some lines right here based on the information in this table, right? If I use different values, I can use different numbers, but I can just count by ones here if I really wanted to. But if I were to count by ones um, for my y-axis, obviously it's going to go off the screen. And so I'm going to kind of keep the same spacing, right? So I at least want to try to keep that working here. So it's going to kind of look similar, but I'm going to count by 25s, simply because that's my constant of proportionality. It's going to be a little bit easier. So it's going to look like it's a pretty um, just regular slope, because it's just going to go up uh, normally, um, you know, 125, 250. But obviously, we just have to remember that that scale is just way different on that y-axis. And so that's what we're going to do, let's see, 150. That's off our, off our table, but we know that's going to be 150 because it's just going to represent that next value. So we're just going to kind of go up like this. And obviously, we are going to go ahead and start at the origin here because at zero days, uh, we can infer that there are zero gallons. And so that's how we can represent this proportional situation here with equations, right, in our y equals kx form in a basic table, which is very easy as long as you find the rule, and in a graph, just watch uh, the scale factor on that y-axis.